Look at this serene picture. So quiet, peaceful, tranquil. Does it really fit for Halloween week? I'm sure we'll find a way to make it fit. What's up guys, Rupp Dad here. And you know what today is, it's Monday, which means Mario Maker Monday is here. All right, we are going to get started on this pretty shortly. I'm mostly looking to just, I don't really have a set order. I'm just gonna try and pick some random courses out today aside from one I do have in mind, but which is my, which has kind of become a staple of this for my, one of my courses, the YouTuber course, I guess. But beyond that, I think I'm mostly just going to try and look for ghost house levels today, or spooky themed levels if I can find them, just because it fits with the Halloween spirit. This is Halloween week after all, or at least I'm trying to make that a thing on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get hunting here, and I will be back in just a moment when I've found our first spooky course. Part of me wishes Halloween would have been on a Monday this year. This would have been so much more better to pull off. So the first one I decide on is Mario's House of Jump Scares by Johnny from Australia. I mean, is it Ghost House level? It's only Whoa, I just realized it was only 200 seconds. I better get moving. Hmm. Okay, I see where our jump scare aspect's coming into play here. Okay. Door. I do not usually- whoa. I usually don't do well with uh, jump scares, but uh... No! Okay, you got me on that one. You got me on that one, okay. Okay. That is a lot of booze. And I'm not talking about the alcoholic kind. Well, that mushroom is kind of pointless now. I got a fire flower, but what's in the pipe? Oh my god! That is a lot of booze. A lot of dry bones. Oh, f fuck. Okay, this is definitely creepy so far. I don't like the fact that. Okay, we got a P switch, we got a. I'm a what's in the vine? What is up here? No, oh, I kind of need that. Is there a clown horn? Okay, what is over here? Okay, extra life. Um, oh, where'd my P-switch go? Okay. Well, as long as I spawn out of the pipe, that works. Okay. Up we go, really super quick. Oh, that's where they came from. Okay. That works. And I end up behind the goal! Okay. So, Mario's House of Jump Scares. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be based to an extent, maybe off of Spooky's House of Jump Scares, that indie horror game that pe some people say isn't really that scary. I haven't tried it myself. Um, you did get me with the chain chop, I'll give you that. The combination of the giant chain chomp and the, uh, one thing. I'll go ahead and start that, because why not? You did get me with that. I'll give you that. Um, bit of a which way do I go level, with, to an extent, which is alright. I uh, wasn't really feeling too scared, though, but it's kind of hard to scare with the Mario. Okay, it is not giving it a so Am I having internet problems or something right now? Because it is... That... Maybe it's just because he's in Australia, I'm in America, and there's a big uh, network thing between the two countries for kind of obvious reasons. Hmm. Interesting. But, I'll go with it. I mean, it was a nice course for what it was. But, uh, wasn't really too scared, but at least it fits with our Halloween episode, I guess. Which works. Alright, let's give this one a try. Dylan's Ghost Trials. Okay, let's see what your ghost... Okay, I see a boo ring up there. Ghostly Trials, huh? Well, I definitely see ghosts. I see dead people. There are boos and dry bones. In the blocks, okay. Not a fan of that already. 
I did not realize that boos are a lot faster when they have uh, the pea wings. Well, wings in general. Okay, we have a springboard. We have. Oh! I should probably get my ass move thing. Okay, uh. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a uh, perfect example of a where the fuck do I oh, almost missed the mushroom. I didn't really need that mushroom, alright. There's a way to get rid of these ghosts, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. I didn't see any sign of doors. Hmm. Okay, let me see something really quick if I can get past this uh, boo ring safely. Oh, uh, what is down here besides you? Hidden coin blocks. Uh, I'm gonna hit that before I go in this door. See what it does. Takes me up here. Crap. Which doesn't really do anything for me. Aside from kill me, okay. So, I'm clearly failing these ghost trials right now, which is, uh... Not good, because I'm pretty sure this is a test I need to pass. I mean, they are the ghost trials, after all. Okay, so... Crap. From my understanding so far, this P-switch is kind of pointless. So I'm just gonna leave it be. Go through here. Alright. Deal with you. Fire flower, I'll take that. Even though I don't think it does anything to the booze. Hmm. What's in this door? Lots and lots of DEATH! Okay, that is clearly a trap. Okay. Up we go. Hello! I can get on the vine. What is up here that's so important? Aside from boo rings. So many ghosts all over the damn place. I mean, I guess it's to be expected. This is the ghost trial after all. I must survive this trial. Okay, you are not welcome here. And I passed it finally! Hip hip hooray! I passed the ghost trial. Let's celebrate! Bang! Alright, Dylan. I'll start that. That was pretty good, actually. Okay, you made me think, you uh, maybe get lost a bit. That was a pretty nicely put together level. Uh, you know, now that I think about it, I probably should be putting, uh... Codes for these on screen. Maybe I'll start doing that at some point in the future. Maybe I'll go back and... I think I might go back at some point and edit some of my videos to show the codes if you guys want to play along, because, uh... Yeah, that would probably be smart. Alright, so I passed the ghost trials. Wasn't bad. The last level we're gonna do today is Free the Axe by Proton John. This is our YouTuber video for the day. Well, uh, uh level. Alright. 400 seconds, and we've got a labyrinth. Hmm. It's over here. There's something I can't get to, so that must be close to the end. Uh, Arrows keep pointing down here. Oh, hey, there's the axe I need to free. Well, it's not know where that is. Alrighty. So, I'm assuming this is the way I need to go, but... Okay, we have doors, we have pipes, we have a lot of shit going on. Uh, John? I do remember watching some of your old ROM hack videos, John. I am very well aware of your immense hatred for invisible coin blocks. Why would you do this? To prove a point... Isn't this exactly what you said coin blocks weren't meant to be used for? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know I could do that. Uh, I guess I need to play around in the, uh... Level editor, but okay. 
Three pipes. Let's take the right one. Okay, the right one seems to be where I need to go. I am almost afraid to go down any of these other pipes. Okay, that one you can't go down. What about this one? Okay, I don't need to be here. Fair enough. Right pipe it is. So I had it right the first time. And I'm just wasting time now, which is bad. Oh. Okay, so we need to get chased by the buzzsaw. Oh, that's creepy. That is a little terrifying. I mean, those things are red, they're angry, they're getting fired out of a can to cross burn. John, I know you don't like... Are you... I can get if you don't like Wigglers, but that's not the way to handle Wigglers. Don't roast them alive. I mean, I'm sure you got some value to someone. Oh, here we go. Koopa Clown Car shenanigans. Horrible, horrible, horrible Koopa Clown Car shenanigans. I am already reminded of the last episode. I am a, I am a little sad that no one actually followed through on my challenge for uh, a... Uh, you can't, couldn't really do it with a Koopa shell because you can't separate Koopas from their shells, unfortunately. But I'm sad that no one took me up on my challenge for a Koopa driving a Koopa clown car challenge kind of thing for a level. Okay, well, now I can take this hit. That's, so what's in here? Okay, uh, left. Let's try left this time. I did... Okay, I think this is where I needed to be, so it wasn't the right door. What the hell, John? I will give you eggs. So many eggs. You will give me an egg, indeed. Okay. Okay, it doesn't go like that. I'm gonna get myself killed with this thing. That works. Okay. Yoshi's, Yoshi's, I found Yoshi's, and they are... Okay, here it comes. Yeah, come back here. Come back, come on. Yoshi, so happy indeed. Oh. Yes, let's take the dance party with us, because why not? All right, I think I have a vague idea what to do here. Ride, Yoshi! Ride like the wind through this castle! And we are back here now. Okay, so I'm assuming I need Yoshi to get up. Hang on. Okay, I know I need something to break through that one thing. What's down here? A whole lot of nothing. Okie dokie. These don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm just going to work on the assumption I need to get up here with Yoshi. So, but... Okay. Bye, Yoshi! You better be still be here when I get back, otherwise I'm going to be very upset with you, dinosaur. Okay, so what's over here that's so important? Uh, a P-switch. I do believe I need that. Oh god, are you serious? Okay, uh... Oh god! Um... Where do I need to go? I'm gonna hit both of these just to be on the safe side. Run, 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 run. Yeah, I see what all those do down there. I'm not stupid. Oh god. Oh god. Yes! Suck it, giant Bowser Jr. I have freed the axe. Give me my riches and rewards for all of my hard work and dedication. Alright, you get a star for that one, John. I did have another level I was going to do, but I didn't want to repeat what happened with PK Sparks' level. It gave me an utter headache, and I'm not in the mood for that today because I'm doing a lot of recording today, and I don't have a whole lot of, t of extra time to waste. So maybe I'll conquer that level another day. As far as this level, I really like it, John. I like levels 
that really make me think, and whether it be mazes or puzzles, which, if anyone watching this has played my rupture level, it is a puzzle level, and I don't think it's that hard of one to figure out. Especially when I see where most people are dying. I mean, this is a perfect level that I'd love to actually try to make a level like this at some point, because, uh, yeah. I mean, this is the kind of level I like seeing. It works. Alright. I want you guys to see- that. I'm gonna go and bring this up really quick. There's the, uh, ID code again. I know I've shown this up in the past, but... I want you to take a good look at, uh... Oops, I didn't mean to show that. Okay. I want you to take a really good hard look at where the X's are, where everyone keeps dying. It's in that beginning section. Guys. I don't think it's that hard to figure out. You need to free the P-switch. It's relatively simple, I'd like to think. I would hope so, anyway. But, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that. So, I think it's gonna do it for us today. We've gotten three levels conquered. I might start adding more levels to these down the road. But I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, as always, if you have a level you'd like me to play, whether it be one you create or one you think you would like to see me play... Um... Preferably not a Ross level. I might get, attempt those someday, but I don't feel I'm up to that level today or any other day in the immediate future. But if you got a level you'd like to see me try, whether it be one of your own or someone else's, please go ahead and leave the ID down in the comments below and I will definitely be sure to give it a try. I will probably try and think of some better way, like a submission system to be able to run that through in the future, but for now I'll just go off the comments. So with all that said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I have been Rupt at, and I'll see you guys next Monday for another installment of Mario Maker Mondays. Take care, guys, and happy Halloween week.